first graders. My son Josh and I are going to teach you a math game that you can play at home for fun. And you will need your math journal. You will need um, some kind of candy like Reese's Pieces or M&M's or maybe Skittles. Skittles or cereal. You could use pieces of cereal if you want. And what you'll do is you'll open your math journal to the back cover where you, you see the um, number grid and you'll put the candy over all the numbers, not the negative numbers and not zero. And but not the numbers after 100. Actually, if you, well, you want could. to, you could go past 100. We, we're only going to go up to 100. And then what you do is you take turns rolling the dice, and then you take that number of pieces of candy or cereal, whatever you, whatever you choose to use. So, do you want to go first, Josh? Sure. So I rolled one plus four, that's five. Okay. And then I should mention too that after you both, you and your, um, the person you're playing against, after you clear all the candy off, then you count to see who has more candy to so see who wins. And maybe like the winner, like whoever, like whoever has more gets to have the uh, more candy, more of the candy than each other. <laughs> well, you can decide that when you play the game, right? Doesn't really matter. <laughs> So I have seven. Five plus two is seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, your turn, Josh. I have seven, too. Well, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. All right. Come on, give me 12. Give me 12. Oh, all right, I got five. Five is not 12. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five. There we go. Your turn, Josh? Three. Okay. That is not 12 either. Oh, two. Snake eyes. <laughs> Six. Ooh, doubles. Three plus three is a doubles fact. So I also got six because four plus two is also six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven, eight. Ooh. Three. Oops, it's okay. You can still you can still take them, yeah. Four, five, six. Seven, eight. I got seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I get seven too as well. So that's four. Five, six, seven. Good job. I also have seven. So I'm gonna take three. <laughs> plus three more is six, plus one more would be seven. That'd be really ironic if there's another seven. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Well, now, wait. So now, this each, can I tell you, wait, before you take them, let me, I want to teach the first grader something. So, each row has ten. So, Josh, if you're going to take I nine. Know, I know that I, I should only leave right. one. Because nine That's because you're. Ten, 10 minus 1 equals 9. Remember, that's because you are in fourth grade. But we're teaching the first graders, right? True. Um, these are all messed up. Sorry about that, first graders. Okay. They might get a little messed up when you play. That's okay. You can see the rows, though. That's so I have 6 plus 3. So 6, 7, 8, 9. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this one. Okay. So that's one of the dots now is gone. So now you have eight. So now I need to take eight more. So that's the whole brown row except for two of them. There. Because if I took the whole row, it would be ten. If I roll, I only if, I, eight. if I roll twelve, then that's all of them. But <laughs> that did not happen. Yeah. Oh, bummer. Yeah. 
Okay, whoop. All right, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And if you roll more than you can just take as much. Yes. Okay, now he's going to put his in groups of 10 and I'm going to put mine in groups of 10. I might do mine by color, but sure. you don't have to. So I might do an orange group six, first. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is a group of ten here. One, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Do yours first. Twenty. 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 Twenty.